To do philosophy with virtual worlds and computer games means to react to the bias, or rather the prejudice, according to which the humanities are mostly dealt with, developed, and communicated in a linguistic form, for example, that of orality or text. So through digital interactions of any kinds, we could try to think things through in a different fashion in a way that is maybe interactive, spatial, that has to do with cause and effect. Things that texts are not particularly great at doing. So what doing philosophy, practically, as a game designer or as a player, hands-on, in a virtual world, maybe ludic or not, means to engage practically with certain philosophical topics, spatially, causally, in a way that text does not allow us to do. By doing so, it extends the possibility of philosophy. I'm not saying video games, virtual worlds, interactions with computers in any kind will substitute the use of text or verbal communication, but it's a new possibility that comes with great advantages but also great dangers, which is what I talked about during my presentation. I hope this was enough to get you curious and you can check out my website, for example, for free little interesting games to play with a philosophical background and a philosophical aim. Thank you. Bye.